everyone, it's Pets Palace TV. Today's video is going to be gerbils versus hamsters. So I own three gerbils and one hybrid hamster and they are actually both very different from each other. They may come across as being quite similar but they are actually very different from each other. First of all I am going to talk about the enclosure. So hamsters and gerbils both need a lot of space. People think they don't need much room because they're small but really that is a misconception and they do need a lot of space. So my hamster lives in the IKEA Detolf and this costs only £40. It is meant to be a display cabinet but we turned it on its side and removed the shells. We also had to construct a lid just to make it safe and um, mesh part of it for ventilation. Here is an overview of my hamster's enclosure. So the detail fits really well on top of this Calax unit and I think it's really great to have them higher up. And another advantage of having it like on a unit like this is that you have all of this space for storage. So that is like really affordable, it's really spacious and I would definitely recommend it for hamsters. I have had my gerbils in here before but it just couldn't really contain the weight of the bedding and the glass started to bend a bit so I had to get them a new enclosure but for hamsters this is definitely great and very affordable. Now my gerbils live in the Living World Green Eco Habitat from Zoo Plus. This cost me about £150 so it's not really the most affordable enclosure and it yeah is quite expensive. I think they have increased the price now which I, I'm not sure why because it was already expensive in the first place um, but I think you can get it from some other places so yeah it was expensive but you really do get what you pay for it's really great quality and I think it's a really spacious enclosure great for my gerbils and I really like it so yeah I think that there is a big price difference but yeah, you do get what you pay for, although with this it's definitely great quality for £40 and yeah, I think with gerbils um, you can just buy a tank off like a second hand website and you can get them for really great prices and then all you need to do is make a lid and those are much more affordable. Um, but I just wanted to buy something like this because I knew it would be long lasting and I just wanted something that would look nice in my bedroom. So my gerbils enclosure is on the IKEA lap table and this is a coffee table. The measurements happen to be exactly the same as the enclosure so it's a perfect fit. I think there are many more advantages of having a larger enclosure like you won't have to clean them as often. I only clean out my gerbils every three to four weeks. That may sound ridiculous, but they honestly don't need it and completely changing all the bedding does stress them out quite a lot. So I think it's best to do it like less often. And they do have a sand bath and I put chinchilla sand in this and you must be careful that you don't get chinchilla dust. It has to be chinchilla sand. So they use that as like a litter tray and then I um, like scoop out the mess each day. It does stress them out a lot to completely change all the bedding as they lose all the scent and everything because they like kind of mark their territory with their scent. Um, so it is a really stressful time to clean them out so I think doing it less often is better and it also saves you time if you have a larger enclosure and you don't have to clean them out as much then it saves you time and I will say for both of these pets to avoid pet shop cages completely I think they are just really bad I haven't come across one which I think would be suitable I think with the enclosures um, the price really just vary depending on what you can get your hands on so yeah that is quite like varied and it just depends where you choose to get it from. Next I'm going to talk about bedding. So bedding is I think a little bit more expensive for gerbils just because they need a lot of depth to build their tunnels and to dig so I would recommend giving them much more bedding. Um, so yeah they do need quite a lot more than hamsters do. Hamsters don't really tend to dig and they will do sometimes, um, some hamsters like to burrow down and build nests 
but I don't think they need anywhere near as much as gerbils do. So that is one difference and I would recommend for both getting your bedding in large bales from horse suppliers because they are much better value. So with the gerbils I use a mixture of wood shavings and Megazorb. With my hamster I have Orbios and then in the burrowing digging area I have some Megazorb. I also use Orbios in the gerbils enclosure for the non-digging area. So yeah the beddings are pretty much the same but I do think gerbils will be a little bit more expensive. So now I'm going to talk about everything that you put inside the cage including wheels, tunnels, bridges, shelves and things like that. So I think that again this is very similar just because they have very similar needs and um, I think that price really does vary depending on how much you want to spend. I always avoid the plastic toys because I don't think they are very good. If they chew them they could ingest some of the plastic and it can be really harmful to them. So I would avoid plastic completely, especially with gerbils. Um, as gerbils are chewers and you really don't want them um, eating um, any of plastic by accident. So I would definitely avoid plastic things. Although they are cheap, they just aren't really great for them. And with hamsters, it doesn't really seem too much of a problem because they don't chew quite as much. Um, but I just prefer how like the wood looks. So you can have plastic for hamsters, but I definitely prefer the natural layout and I think that's much better. So I think with setting things up inside the cage and like all your tunnels and your bridges and everything like that, the price is going to be quite similar. So I don't think there is much of a difference there. Now I'm going to talk about handling. So I don't handle my gerbils or my hamster and some people may find that quite unusual because like a lot of people get their pets to handle and they really do like that interaction but I prefer just to watch them. I think they are better to be observed rather than handled and I believe that handling them is more for our benefit rather than their benefit. So I don't really tend to handle them but if you do it's completely fine. It's just kind of your own preference. I just prefer to watch them and let them live a more natural life whereas some people will want that interaction. So both can be tamed and I think it just depends on individuals how easy that process is. Some will take weeks, some others will take months. So it really does depend on the individual's personalities. So I don't handle my gerbils as I said. When I first got them I was handling them every day and then I stopped and the only time I handle them now is to put them in their carrier when I clean their cages. So I really don't handle them at all and they're still really tame, they never bite me or anything, they just let me scoop them up and they're really good. So I think that they are easy to handle and hamsters again can be tamed fairly easily but it really does depend on the individual. So the next thing I'm going to mention is time. I think both of these pets don't take up a lot of time. They are fairly low maintenance. If you have owned like guinea pigs or rabbits you will understand this. Um, if you have never owned any other pets and you've just got gerbils or you've just got a hamster then I think that um, it may seem like quite a bit of a responsibility and it may take up quite a lot of time. Whereas if you own guinea pigs like me, I have eight of them, then you will know that they do take up a lot of time and they are fairly high maintenance pets. So I think compared to larger pets that need um, more time and the more like high maintenance, they are fairly easy to care for, they don't really take a lot of time. All I do on a day is refresh their water, give them some more food and I will change their sand. Well, I will like get all of the um, urine and faeces out of their sand if there is any and I just use like a sieve to do that. But I think, um, yeah, they're both fairly easy to care for and there's no big difference there. So this next thing is quite a big difference and it's that hamsters are nocturnal whereas gerbils are often up quite a lot during the day. So hamsters, you can see mine's running around now and he does seem to be very active during the day 
I do see him quite a lot, but I don't think that's very common with a lot of hamsters. So hamsters will be more active at night, which means they are not really suitable for younger children. I would definitely not recommend hamsters for younger children. It's just because of like the fact that they are nocturnal and your kids won't really be able to see them. Or if you are younger, then you won't be able to see them if you're going to bed earlier because they do get up quite late. Um, Whereas gerbils, they tend to be active a lot more during the day and I do see them lots during the day and a lot more than I see my hamster. So I think if you are wanting a pet that you'll be able to see more during the day, I would definitely recommend gerbils just because you will most likely see them more. But if you want to like watch your pet in an evening, which I actually enjoy doing, then hamsters are also great. So I actually make my own food for my gerbils and my hamster. Some of the ingredients are not very easy to get hold of. There are certain seeds and like cereals and things like that which are not really easy to get hold of. Um, but I think it's similar for both of them, both gerbils and hamsters. They like really do benefit from a healthier diet. I do have a video on DIY gerbil food so I will link that down in the description. I haven't yet made one for hamsters, like I haven't made a video for hamsters, um, but it really does depend on the individual species. So ingredients for that can be expensive, but again, they are very similar um, in terms of cost for that. If you have more gerbils, they're going to eat more, so I guess that could make a little bit of difference, but I don't think that really makes much of a difference at all. So if you are thinking about getting either hamsters or gerbils, another thing you want to think about is how clean they keep their enclosures. So I have found that hamsters tend to be a lot cleaner than the gerbils. Gerbils can be really messy and they do kick their bedding around. This is because they like to build tunnels and things, so the bedding will probably end up everywhere. And um, this may bother some people, it doesn't really bother me. Um, but some people like their cages um, to look really neat and tidy so I think if that's you then hamsters are definitely better because they keep their enclosures like really neat and tidy for like the whole time until you next clean them however gerbils can get really messy and their bedding tends to end up everywhere hamsters and gerbils both have an average life expectancy of two to three years so some may live longer than this, some may not live quite as long as this. It really does depend on the individual, but you've got to think about where you will be in two to three years time and will you still be able to look after them? Because so I haven't really stated which one is better and honestly, I don't think I can say that. It just depends what you want and I can't tell you which one is best. It just depends on what you want as a pet. So yeah, thank you for watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye!